back in New York and everything is so green. The chickens missed us, I think. Hey girls. Hey girls. Our four little chickens. <laughs> the whole ride back from Maine, I was in my head replaying, okay, what did we have to get done this weekend? <laughs> I was so looking forward to coming home. And the garden beds look pretty good. Some weeds here, but really not terrible. Does anybody have any idea what these are? This is where I had my pumpkins last year. Does anybody have any idea of what this is? Is it just a weed? I told you before how this whole brush line is lined with raspberries. You can see just exactly where all the raspberries are. So I think this weekend would be a good time to get out here and take out some of the stuff that is not raspberries <clears throat> because it's been so overgrown since we moved in here three years ago we might get maybe a couple pints a year but we should be getting a lot more since there are so many raspberries along this border some weeds going on in here but the strawberries are just doing phenomenal. I'm going to have to get some something to cover the strawberries with because that was our problem last year. The birds ate them all before we could. <laughs> we got a couple off of them, but there wasn't nearly as much as there is now. So I think we'll have to do something to cover them. I had no idea they would spread, which now I know that probably wasn't the best place to plant them. Chris is coming out, check on everything. The girls are good. Our friend Keith took great care of the plants and the girls and the cats. Chris is going down to check on the river. I guess it was as high as it's been in a really, really long time. I will show you guys how high it is. Wow. I don't think we've ever seen it this high, have we? Mm -hmm. We made a quick trip to Lowe's because somebody in the Roots and Refuge group <laughs> posted about a coupon and I was lucky enough to get a $10 coupon <coughs> and then I had my daughter text it from her phone and she got a $5 coupon. So I got two bags of organic potting soil and a little weeder thing for $14. <laughs> so we saved $15. So that was a pretty good deal. It is very cold and blustery here in upstate New York. I wanted to get some things in the garden done, but I think that's not going to happen because it's very, very windy out. Molly almost blew away. <laughs> and Lila found a pretty flower. It kind of almost matches her hair a little bit. Um, they had a bunch of plants out there, so made me super jealous that I don't have near enough plants started and I'm not going to buy any plant starts from especially Lowe's. If I do buy some plant starts it will be from a local nursery that customers of ours at the shop run and they're great and super knowledgeable so I'd rather support them than a big box store but they had a coupon. I got some good organic potting soil and a little weeder. I am going to get some of these started. It is supposed to get very cold tonight and tomorrow night. So, it's we also, shall see. 
it's also really cold in here. But I mean, it's not really cold. Yeah. And now she's filling the cups up with soil. See how I'm pressing them down, but not too much. Right? We just want it firm enough to when we plant our seeds, it's not going to go anywhere. My mom gave us two four by four um, like plastic bed things. We were going to go get you know soil from our local Albashan, but when we got there and priced it out as to how much we needed, it was gonna be way too much. So I called the farmer across the street, and it's like twenty dollars for a bucket load, and they said, "Come on up." So that's where we are. And what we don't use, we can fill in holes around the backyard to level it out. So it kind of works out and it's a lot cheaper. Chris and Molly went to go and get the groceries. I am home with Lila. She is getting things ready for school tomorrow. I am in the kitchen boiling elbow macaroni. We are having homemade macaroni and cheese for dinner tonight. Since we got back from vacation late Friday afternoon, we haven't had time to do grocery shopping. So I put an order in every Sunday you know, for the week's worth of groceries and it seems to work out pretty good. And we ate out a lot this weekend, which was really bad, but Sundays we like to always have a home-cooked meal and eat together as a family because I feel like oftentimes life is busy. You know, when it's just Chris and I, we will not eat at the kitchen table with each other and the girls are at their father's, you know, we'll eat in the living room. So when the kids are here, we definitely try to eat together as a family. Happy beginning of the week, guys. As you can see, everything behind me is nice and green. Since we came back from Maine, everything has just taken off. Of course, it's been raining 90% of the time. Um, let me take you in the greenhouse and show you what I got going on. It just rained all day today. I did last night get the Magnolia tendril peas planted um, on this first trellis both sides. So they should look really awesome. I was out here with a headlamp on at about 8.30 at night planting them. I haven't had to water everything in about three days because I fell into my old habits and overwatered in the beginning. I had a couple plants that had developed um, like mildew. So here's my plants, but just the white was green so I just scraped it all off and instead of being impatient I said I'm gonna wait till my plants tell me that they need watering and <laughs> they went like three days without needing water and then yesterday when it was so warm we had to water everything so I was out here watering everything I did get some flowers planted in the 
grow bags. I figured let's check these babies out and see how they do. Um, so I got them there. Here's the Magnolia tendril peas. I mean, how awesome are these going to look over a trellis? And then I still have yet to plant in my grow bags. The first thing that actually sprouted that I planted back in the beginning of April is my purple broccoli. Let me show you. And this is how that looks now. I planted that back on April 7th. Um, my purple beauty peppers. And then... Oh, actually, just since this morning, these little Roma tomatoes have come up. I know I've said it before that I want to get more... I want to get more serious into canning, so I'm going to try that. And this definitely doubled the fenugreek. I'm, I bought the tea kit from my gardener, so I figured I'd start one cup of each because I'm not 100% sure what everything does. I have my basil. Those tomatoes are new. My German chamomile, which looks like a couple of seeds got dropped, but I remember some of these seeds were super, super tiny. Um, I started a bunch of lettuce, some for my chickens. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chrissy, and I have a problem. I grow things for my chickens. Caraway, once again, not quite sure what that is. My licorice basil hasn't come up. The only other tomato tomatoes that I have... Oh, wow. This is new and exciting. I was just out here last night, and the only tomatoes that I had were the white cherry tomatoes that the Stiver sent me. So these are doing pretty good. And that was it. So the Roma tomatoes are new. And these black cherry tomatoes right here are just starting to come up. And that is, that's these, these guys. I feel like Jess has turned us all into the crazy tomato ladies or guys. Um, another kind of broccoli here. That was the second thing to come up. But everything else still looks the same. I am having a heck of a time with these California sweet peppers. I planted them, I want to say the beginning of April, and I just have nothing. So actually, one, looks like three of my black cherry tomatoes have come up. Nothing in the San Marzano. And these are my bachelor, bachelor's button here. I just figured I got this little thing at the dollar store that it will just fill out so cute. Let me show you what those look like. So they look like this. But I figured those would look really cool in there. So we'll try that. Yesterday I was out at 7 in the morning. Everyone was sleeping. The kids had a sleepover. And that's when I did some of the transplanting and mosquitoes are out. And on the side of our garage, the ugly space, I planted sunflowers and just a bunch of wildflowers. So figure if it grows, it will be beautiful. And if not, whatever, I guess. But everything looks good in here. I just planted the peas last night, so I'm sure that they are not, nothing's happening. But the sun is setting. I wanted to come out and check on everything. Let me show you. Look how green the grass is. Chris has cut the grass two times. Two times this year already.
we knew we were getting torrential rain today. So when we got home from Molly's softball practice last night, while I was cooking dinner, he cut the grass. So everything in here looks good. And these little solar lights that I got, um, just kind of set the mood at night. You come out here and you see them on and it just makes you happy. All right, let's take a walk. And so this is the garden area. Those are the new raised beds. This mulch seemed to work okay. I think I was a little skimpy on some spots because there is some grass growing through. But I think I'm going to fix that. And my strawberries. Can you see these boys? I mean, look at these leaves. Like... They're huge and they're taking over. So I told Chris what I want to do is I think maybe dedicate one of these to strawberries. That way they're kind of contained. Maybe do one strawberry and then one herb. And then, you know, you saw a couple days ago the raspberries. Well, they still look awesome and we didn't get as much thinned out because the weather's been kind of crappy um, and everything is wet. I did clean out these plants here all the way back here um, so we can at least walk here and have access to you know a handful of plants. And then, like I said, they're so overgrown. This all needs to get cleaned out. Hopefully we'll find time to do all of this stuff. And can you just see how nice everything looks behind me? The farmer's going to have to hay his field pretty soon. That is the update for Along the River Homestead. And remember how I had asked about those weird leaves that were all in the garden? I actually had my daughter weed the beds yesterday for her allowance. And I'm thinking that they were just going to turn into a weed. Because this is what they look like. And they're all over back here. So when they get bigger, I don't know. What do you guys think? They just smell like a weed. <laughs> they smell grassy. Does anyone want to come and clean out our brush? I mean, look at this. Imagine if we had access to all this green without all of the other stuff in the way. It is a work in progress. This side of the yard just is very wet, but nice and green. This is where I planted the sunflower seeds, where you can see, I'm telling you, those dandelions, those roots, I had no idea how intense they were. It just stopped raining long enough for the sun to come out, if you can see look like an angel <laughs> let me show you how beautiful it is well I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys on the next video